of course men and women are different, but when it comes to when it comes to rights and obligations, in the same way, for example, do you, do you think we should uh, repeal the 19th Amendment? Yeah. Okay, well, I can see why. I mean, we're never why, going yeah. to. I'm being realistic. That's never going to happen. Right. Okay. I'm saying, like, it would have been better if we never had <laughs> the 19th Amendment. That's. I'm sure a lot of the girls here appreciate your hot take on on. Do they know women's. what the 19th Amendment is? I don't really. Care. She okay. Isn't so basically, the women's women's rights? <laughs> she doesn't want women to vote. Is what Mary's saying here. I, I disagree. I don't want with a lot that. of people to vote, but I mean, if we're going to start somewhere, sure. <laughs> let's I start mean, there. I think that you could be uneducated. Like that doesn't have anything to do with your gender. Um, I just think that women are heavily influenced by groupthink, by emotions, collectivism, and yeah, are easily brainwashed, and that's why most of them vote for the left. You can respond to her. I don't have the energy to do that. I'm sorry. You don't. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I mean, I'm just I saying. Think we like, should get back to talking about dating stuff. So. <laughs> Men are more. Uh, they they have a better ability to to vote on issues that they're emotionally disaffected from. I like. You the guys household. feel free to rebuttal if you want to they provide don't want a rebuttal because they know they're wrong. <laughs> no, it, it's I'm just it's oh, weird. Okay. It's weird how you categorize women and like you don't put yourself in the shoes of your own gender too. no of course i'm a woman no but it feels like you're like, like you're against. othering us and it's like we're the i others. definitely don't mean to do that and let me correct myself i think well obviously i'm a woman obviously but i but the way you're have, putting it makes like, it there's no me without my womanhood and, and femininity that that's like innate to me but i think that there are ways uh women can be statistically generalized. They have high openness, high neuroticism, okay? Um, also, like, better ability to empathize, things like that. And there are ways that I differ. I'm, I am low in neuroticism, high in disagreeability, okay? Women are high in agreeability. Like, I've noticed these things about myself. So, when I'm saying like women on the whole, I'm making generalizations. There are obviously many exceptions, but these generalizations are true. Like women are high in neuroticism, high in openness, high in agreeability. These things affect their voting patterns, would they not? It's not about just voting though, because at the beginning of the podcast, you were talking about how women shouldn't be in STEM and how women aren't supposed to be like pilots and now you're saying that women can't vote. Oh, the women not, who like, are excellent at STEM roles should be in STEM. I'm just saying that's way more rare than finding the men who are excellent in those roles because of the natural differences between the genders. I wouldn't even say it's natural. It's what just, do you mean? I mean, I don't think it has to do anything with biology. I think there's a reason to why there isn't a lot of females in STEM. We're not all like blank what? slates. Like there are the ways reason? that men are naturally huh? different What's the from reason? women. Well, I think it's even just because females are the caregivers usually to children and things like that. And can you um, pull the microphone closer? Yeah. To you? Um, it's just because we're primarily like caregivers to children and thing like and things like that. And most of the time, you don't have enough time to have um, a career. As to a male, I mean, if your job is to provide you're going to have in more than enough time to develop your career compared to when you have to be a caretaker and have a career. Mm -hmm. I think academia and industries are trying to like completely upend those social factors, though, by making mandatory quotas for women in STEM fields and affirmative action and you know, all of these things, like it's all artificially making up for the fact that men are just naturally inclined toward certain roles and women are not. And vice versa. And right? vice versa, yeah, yeah, of course. Let's bring it back to dating semi kind of sort of, <laughs> but not really. Um, so this is semi kind of sort of dating related. Has anybody here ever had a stalker? Like a crazy ex that stalked you. Anybody? Anyone? So my question is, you know, oftentimes these stalkers might come up from 
past relationship experiences, past relationships, unrequited love, that's typic typically, I think, oftentimes these stalking situations come from. They just won't leave you alone. Um, I don't know, has anyone here ever known like a truly just unhinged, crazy person? I mean, my mom has had a stalker. Anybody? Yeah. Show of hands, maybe. A friend of mine had a stalker. I have a I question. Have. Let's say you had a stalker, like a crazy ex, that you told him, hey, stop, leave me alone, stop contacting me, blah, 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 and they just wouldn't. Someone who you just cannot reason with, you've told them, leave me alone, they keep trying to contact you, calling you, whatever. Let's say they start coming to your house, whatever, That's, that can be pretty scary, right? In that situation, and who knows, maybe they even try to break in or something. I saw a video the other day, this crazy ex-boyfriend tried to break into his girlfriend's house um, and he was caught on the ring doorbell. In that situation, would you want a gun to defend yourself? I wanna start with you and then we'll go around this way. Um, if I didn't have any children, then yes. Okay, if yeah. you did have children, then you wouldn't? No. Okay. Yeah, right. I think just a lot of things can go wrong when you have children. Sure. What about you? Um, I feel like there's different weapons, like a taser, or maybe like my stepdad used to keep like a baseball bat for like intruders or whatever. Mm. That I feel like that's more like a realistic approach than a gun. Um, because a baseball bat. Yeah. I I what? just I just feel like a firearm in a house, especially like if you have children or if you have guests or family members. I just. I'm personally against that, so sure. I would go for more like a taser or like something more mm. okay. realist, not realistic, but like for taser. me realistic, I guess. Okay. What about you? I exactly the same. Everything that she said. Wait, I can, think I, that can I ask like a follow-up question? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you guys saying no because you guys would feel like responsible if something were to happen or because you feel scared to the fact that you just own a gun? No, I'm not scared of the fact of owning a gun. It's okay. the let me, consequences here, let, that I come revise, with it. I'd like to revise the question a little bit. You know your ex-boyfriend, who's now your stalker, you know he owns firearms. Does that change your answer at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we thought of that's kind of crazy. Okay, that like, like completely like, changes the question. This is like fire. If he apart, brings like a gun to my house, <laughs> like if he's breaking in my house with a gun, yeah. that's a different story. But you don't know. So in, that's insane. Sure. In that No, but in that situation... Would you want a gun to defend Oh, I wouldn't yourself? even, I, no, this man, I would have the police, like, like, depending but on if, the, like, he's already there, like, and he just breaks in, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm screwed, like, <laughs> he's, he's shooting me, I'm dead. If, then I would, I would, and I, this is very unrealistic, I would own a gun, yes, but I would never have it get to this point where my ex would be breaking into my house with a gun trying okay. to get at me. If but that makes that, sense. That wouldn't really, if you have like someone in the, like, you don't really have much of a say when somebody is unhinged and you cannot reason with them. Well, as of right now, I can because I don't have an ex. So I can't, well, I don't have you, anyone who's coming not, after me with a gun. No, but I'm. This is like a what if. You don't. Scenario. Well, my what All if right, is. Fuck, bro, I can't. Okay. No. Um, How would you feel no. if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? I would not want to go. Okay, what about you? Um, you, you kind of changed the scenario, right? Yeah. Um, like if my ex-boyfriend had a gun. Sorry, I, I almost, sorry. He I don't could stop. or could not have a gun. He's breaking into your house. Do you, do you, would you prefer to have a gun to defend yourself? Um, honestly, yeah. Okay, Mary, what about you? Yes. I would for sure. I mean, yes. Yes, and I'd have a restraining order, and I'd probably set up cameras in the house, so okay. I would know if right. he was coming. Okay. 